Hello, you all. You already know what we finna get into. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. What would our Elohim like us to know at this time? What would our Elohim like us to know at this time? We have King of Cups, King of Wands, Four of Wands, Ace of Cups. So there is a, a King of Cups or a King of Wands that want to surprise somebody. They could want to surprise somebody at their home. Somebody feels spiritually guided to call somebody. Somebody, um, somebody could be married. Somebody could be married, wanting to call somebody, um, call their wife. Or somebody wants somebody to be their wife. Somebody could have had a vision of being home and married and laying a foundation with somebody. And since they had that vision, this is something that they want to, you know... Be quick and laying whatever this is down. This foundation down. Somebody want an opportunity. Um, for others, I see... For others, I see a man... That somebody could have had a baby in a home. And somebody felt. Spiritually guided to commit. And get some sort of home. Somebody could have had a child in their home. And they calling, you know, with the good news, you know, happy, excited, these partners. Somebody could be making a plan to travel and see the baby. Somebody also could have already had a baby in their home and somebody could be making the plan to travel because somebody could be wanting to make some type of higher form of commitment. Somebody could want to propose. Somebody could be getting married and people, you know, gathered around for this here. For others of you, there could be a masculine who um, was focused on his home and his that's his self within himself. This man has spiritually awakened. This person is emotionally and spiritually awakened and they have been perfected in the spirit and they are in alignment with the divine. They listen to their inner guidance. And they have a connection to the Most High. This person is a chosen one. They had a spiritual rebirth. And this person is learning of heavenly things. The divine presented them with an opportunity to wake up and they took it. 
and this man is um, laying this foundation quickly. So it's like congratulations for any group, you know, any group that this is. Somebody can have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again, Virgo, Sag, Taurus. Yeah, there's a lot of transformation here. Transfer. We have a metamorphosis. There's also a transformation. And uh, possibly there could be a death. Yeah, there could be some type of loss to a wish fulfillment here. Some type of ending, some type of death here. But there is also beauty, transformation, metamorphosis here. Different scenarios for different people. Different outcomes. Is there anything else we need to know here? Yep, different possibilities. Seven of Cups. Some people could fear what's to come. Somebody could have employed somebody to cause some type of stress and burdens to somebody's possibilities to as well. So even some people even pay money to intervene within these situations here. And that could even possibly be where the death comes in. Whoever was trying to intervene in th these transformations and these in this in this growth, they might end up passing, or something might die, or something might end. But we do have beauty and transformation here. So congratulations. And we got we it would be congratulations and condolences. Let's see, is there anything else we need to uh Is there anything else we need to know about? Nope. We gonna pull a grateful heart message. Cause it's always something to be grateful for. So we have here, never miss an opportunity to see anything that is beautiful. We thank you, O Yahweh. We give thanks because you are near. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. 
Worship Yahweh with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Yahweh turns deserts into pools of water, the dry land into springs of water. We have here, you prepare a feast for me in the presence of mine enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessing. Never lose an opportunity to see anything that is beautiful. For beauty is Yahweh's handwriting. A wayside sacrament, welcome it in every fair face, in every fair sky, in every fair flower, and thank Yahweh for it as a cup of blessing. Commit everything you do to Yahweh. Trust him and he will help you. Yahweh crowns you with love and mercy, a paradise crown. He wraps you in goodness and beauty eternal. So I hope you all got a message from this read that it be able to help you along your journey. Know that, know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace.